Lesson 1, Electric Field Section 1.2, Coulomb's Law Here is a point charge. The amount of charge is Q1 coulombs. The volume of the point charge is assumed to be zero. There is another point charge. Its charge magnitude is Q2 coulombs. The distance between the two point charges is R meters. There is a force between the two point charges. Coulomb's law states that the force F is given by this equation. It is proportional to the charge magnitudes Q1 and Q2, and inversely proportional to the square of the distance R. The unit is Newton, denoted by N. If Q1 and Q2 are unlike charges, the force is attractive. If Q1 and Q2 are like charges, the force is repulsive. Epsilon is the permittivity. The unit is Coulomb squared per Newton meter squared, or Farad per meter. Epsilon equals Epsilon R times Epsilon zero, where epsilon r is the relative permittivity and epsilon zero is the permittivity of vacuum. Epsilon r depends on the medium where the point charges are located. For vacuum, epsilon r equals 1, and epsilon zero equals 8.854 times 10 to the power of negative 12. Epsilon zero is approximately equals to 10 to the power of negative 9 over 36 pi farads per meter. Exercise 1.2 Pause the video and answer the problem. Find the force F. The answer to exercise 1.2 Pause the video, and check your answer. Section 1.3, Coulomb's Law in Vector Form a force F on a point charge Q has both direction and magnitude. F is a vector. Thus, the force is denoted by the bold face F. The force F is written in a Cartesian coordinate system with X, Y and Z axes. The unit vectors along the X, Y and Z axes are denoted by A, X, A, Y and A, Z respectively. The force F can be written in component form, where Fx, Fy and Fz are the components along the X, Y and Z axes respectively. A unit vector along the force F is given by this equation. The unit vector is denoted by the bold face, lower case A. The absolute value of F is expressed by this equation. To express Coulomb's law in vector form, a vector R12 directed from Q2 to Q1 is defined. The force F1 on Q1 due to Q2 in vector form is given by this equation. A12 is the unit vector directed from Q2 to Q1. Exercise 1.3.1 Pause the video and answer the problem. Find the force on a point charge Q1. The answer to exercise 1.3.1 Pause the video and check your answer. Exercise 1.3.2 This is your homework. Pause the video and answer the problem. Find the force on a point charge Q1. The author of this material is Takeshi Furuhashi, Professor Emeritus, Nagoya University. If you have any questions, send emails to this address.